Hey everybody, it's time for more Tales of Symphonia. So my last save was here. And last time we played, we... I think we finished off the ranch in Lewin. And we confronted the final boss of this area and everything like that. And we got information that Chocolat, the NPC that we like, is probably back in the Azalea Ranch. And... I think we may have to go back there, but... I don't know if we have to, and the synopsis, even though I haven't read this in a while, um, usually tells us exactly where you have to go f uh, next. And I think we can also go to the Tower of Mana, actually, since uh, we made a deal with Pietro and who I believe was his sister um, to actually go there and get something to help Pietro out, because he had lost his memory or his motor function or something, there's just something wrong with him. And so we might actually have an opportunity to go in here and help him out somehow. Um, I'm assuming that these are highlighted yellow for a reason. According to the Book of Regeneration, there is another seal to be found in the Tower of Mana, in the northern area of Lumen, the City of Hope. Okay, so there's probably a seal there we can get. Colette was stricken by Angel's Oxycosis when she went outside. It was then that Lloyd realized that as Colette came closer and closer to becoming an angel, she was losing her human senses. Lloyd wanted to tell the others what was happening, but Colette forbade him from doing so. So, in the last cutscene in the ranch, um, Lloyd actually spilled the beans on that. So, I don't think that's updated. So, I'm going to go to the Tower of Mana. I think that's probably best for right now. I think we're already healed up. Items though. Did use a bunch of items. And this place is actually the closest shop. So I'm gonna buy us items real fast. And then uh and then head out. That's an in. This place sells food at least. And we have a lot of more money, so let's see. Kelp is always good. Um, chicken sounds fine. We use pork in a lot of things. Cabbage for cabbage rolls. It's all good for now, just because it's very expensive. Actually, I wonder if we can do anything with the unicorn right now. Just to check, why not? Wow, so there's still unicorns left on this side. This side? Uh, nothing. I wonder if we can make contact with it. Do you intend to make use of the healing power said to exist in the Unicorn Horn? Yes, exactly. If we have the Unicorn Horn, we may be able to save Colette and Clara. Really? It is possible. It is said that healing arts developed from the studying the Unicorn Horn. 
then we must find a way to get to the unicorn. But how can we get over there? A boat, maybe? Swim? Can we just swim to it? You won't be able to hold your breath that long. Damn it! Isn't there anything we can do? There is a way. What? We could summon Undyne, who exists somewhere in this world, to control the water's mana. Undyne? You mean the Summon Spirit? We don't have anyone who can summon the Summon Spirits. I... I, I haven't formed a pact yet, but if I can form the pact, then I can summon. Oh, so she is a summoner. I am a guardian user. But I can summon, too. I'd heard that Art of Summoning was lost a very long time ago. Well, it still exists. Anyway, if you're not interested, I'm not going to force you. No, we need the Unicorn Horn. Please do it, Sheena. Uh, Alright. Then let's go to the Seal of Water. Undyne should be at the Seal. The Thoda Geyser, right? Let's go. Yeah. This is quite a detour. Yes. So we're not even really going to save the unicorn, we're just going to take its horn. That's weird. Void's bad habit. A summon spirit. Huh, I wonder how the pact works. I can't wait to see it. Here it goes again. Won't you get bored halfway through? Shut up. I'm interested. So I'm excited, okay? It's fine that you're interested. But the problem is the way you get bored with everything. Shut up! Stop getting up on me! Stop telling us to shut up! We're talking about your attitude. Shut up, all of you! I haven't personally noticed Lloyd getting bored of stuff, other than perhaps being back at the school. I, I personally get bored of grinding, but it's because grinding sucks. Character levels right now. 24, 23. The pursuit of strength. Kratos. What? Have I grown stronger? Your sword skills have certainly improved. However. However? You have realized that that is alone is not enough, have you not? That's why you feel compelled to ask. What strength you seek, what path you seek, no one but you know is the answers. Yeah, I guess you're right. However, there undoubtedly still remain even more fighting techniques that you do not know. Continue to fight alongside your comrades and defeat your enemies. You may find your answers along that path. Alright, I'll trust that one day we'll find those answers, and in the meantime, I'll start with what I can do now. Wow, that didn't sound like me at all. Oh. Mastering was added to the training manual. Training manual, eh? Which I believe is back in here. Grade. <clears throat> Battles are assessed by a grade. The grade does not affect the story in any way, it is simply a measure of the tactics used in battle. If an enemy is defeated in battle with style, a technical smash is awarded. When the unison attack... Wait, I think these... Okay. Battles are assessed for a grade. The grade does not affect the story in any way. It's simply a measure of the tactics used in battle. However, if you keep your grade high, something good might happen. Always excel to get high grade and continuously improve your tactics in battle. 
Yeah, I get pretty low grade most of the time. Technical Smash. If an enemy is defeated in battle style, a Technical Smash is awarded. Technical Smashes improve the chances of getting items after battle, having a more direct effect than grade. Try to fight with style and get that Technical Smash. When the unison attack gauge is at max, you can start a unison attack at any time. By utilizing this characteristic, you can start a U attack after a level 3 special attack. Use a U attack to escape an enemy's combo. Start a U attack after a level 3 special attack. Okay. By fully understanding how unison attacks work, they become more useful than just ways to deal more damage. Okay. When Sheena is in overlimit mode, she can summon spirits with whom she has a contract. However, by summoning, she immediately loses her overlimit, so be cautious. Alright. Tower of Mana. Wait. The old saving. It's locked. Ah, dang it. So never mind. Never mind about that. So we have a lead on the unicorn. We can go back to the geyser. Um, that's probably closer than going back to Azalea. Let me check the synopsis again real fast. Sleeping unicorn. Lloyd and the others made it to Lake Olmacy, only to discover unicorn asleep at the bottom of the lake. The party racked their brains for a way to reach the unicorn, but couldn't come up with anything. Just as they were about to concede defeat, Sheena fearfully made a suggestion. Couldn't they ask Undyne, a spirit who lived in this world, for help? And if they could find a way to reach the unicorn, they might be able to save Colette, as well as anyone else that required healing. Oh, so that might be another way to help Yetra. Following Sheena's suggestion, Lloyd and the others sent off in search of the sealed water, where Undyne was waiting for them. And who knows, maybe Chocolat will need a unicorn horn as well. I don't know. Watch it be like a one-time use type thing. That's my assumption, at least. I like to follow the roads, even though there's no real reason to. Chicken or the egg? The designs are half-elves? Yes, it's said that they're almost entirely composed of half-elves. What? Why'd you bring up that all of a sudden? I was just thinking. They're the same blood I am. How can they do such terrible things? Ah, uh, that's right, you're an elf. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. When I think about it, how they're at least half human, I have to wonder how they can do these things too. Don't you think it's because they've been persecuted? It's because they treat us like cattle. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? What? Nothing. I totally forgot which place I had ordered an expedition at. Oh well. I'm still wondering if that's an important system or not.
Let's see. Uh, we'll have to buy another pass. Let's see. Yeah. So you're the Chosen's group. You should have told me. You can't take money from the Chosen. Would you like to use the boat? Yeah. Awesome. These NPCs all like the same, so I don't think they need Oh, this guy sells wand shells. That would be dying. Uh, it's pretty expensive, though. So, no one else is using this bridge of light? <laughs> Wasn't Undyne a character in a... That indie RPG everyone likes? Undertale? Admit, I'm interested as well. A summoning pact. Hmm. It's easy for you to say. I, I might fail, you know. You'll do fine. I mean, I don't really know how it works, but. Boy's right. If anyone can do it, you can, Sheena. You don't even know anything about it. Fine, I'll do it. Don't blame me if something goes wrong and you get hurt. Possess the right of the pact. I am one who is bound to Mythos. What is your name? Mythos? The hero of the Carlon War? Not only was Mythos a swordsman, he had the ability to summon as well? Mythos is a common boy's name. It's not necessarily Mythos the hero. I am Sheena. I seek a pact with Undini. Undini? Okay. As things stand now, I cannot. Well, why? I am already bound by a pact. I cannot form two packs at the same time. Gotta kill that Mythos dude. You mean you're packed with that Mythos guy? What am I supposed to do now? They never said anything about this at the Research Institute. Well, what should we do, Lloyd? Uh... Huh. Well, can't you just get her to cancel the old pact? How? We don't even have any idea where this Mythos person is. A summon spirit pact requires a vow. As long as the pact maker upholds that vow, the pact remains valid. That is correct. I know about that. The summon spirit approves the pact maker's vow and agrees to the pact. Exactly. Therefore, all you need to do is follow Lloyd's advice and request the annulment of the previous pact. And form a new one. It's possible the previous pact maker has broken his vow. Or he may have already passed away. Is it really that simple? I suppose you could call it simple. But if the previous pact maker is still alive, 
and hasn't broken his vow, then there's nothing I can do. Okay, I'll give him a shot. Undini, I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. Before I can allow the formation of a new pact, I must test your worthiness as a pact maker. Draw your weapons. What? We have to fight? Let it begin. <laughs> Watch it be like stupid hard. Ready? Ready? Oh yeah, I need to use an item to check her health. Use that magic lens. She uses tactic tactics because she just burns through yeah. mana. Ready? So do I, uh, actually. Don't overdo Ready? it. Are you okay? Thanks. Ready? Are you okay? Don't First aid! Ready? Ready? Is that the end? I am... impressed. <laughs> Lloyd, you need to remember that enemy's weakness. Aw oh, man, you're making me study here too? To be fair, she's right. There's just big systems in this game I just don't bother to understand. Now swear your vow. Upon what vow do you form our pact? Right now, at this very moment, there are people who are suffering. I vow to save those people. Understood. I pledge my power to you, Sheena. You have a surprising breadth of knowledge, Kratos. I once had an acquaintance who was somewhat knowledgeable about summon spirits. I see. Wired Aquamarine. Sheena learned a seal water. Sheena learned summon water.
make her more tough. Why not? And... So potentially, I guess this means I have to use the mirror or the lens on those monsters to actually see their stats, because killing them wasn't enough to actually see them. Summoner Sheena. Man, you rule Sheena. <laughs> what are you talking about? Summon spirits, what else? What was it again? You know, all that thou and thy stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. That's so cool, making packs with summon spirits. Really? Say, what does it feel like? Uh, it feels like a great power, separate from myself. It comes surging out from inside my body. I don't really understand, but it's so cool. I wish I was a summoner. Although, I hated being a summoner. Really? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not pursue that further. That's fine. Ah, dang it. Not much of a specimen. That's it. I was just getting started. Sheena Strats. Attack close. Yeah, attack for the young. I don't care about that. Moderation. She is using moderation. She just still seems to burn through a lot of mana. Don't pursue. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what she's doing around there. Dang it. Not much of a specimen. I guess we just walk all the way back to the unicorn? I guess that's it. Wonder if this place has an inn up top. Angels really are exactly. I don't know. The way things are now, Club is suffering too much. No, it's okay, I'm fine. After all, the whole reason I was born was to become an angel and save the world. And 
No, you were born to live your own life, right? <laughs> yeah. Please take care. Yeah, I kind of wonder, like... Clut's purpose is pretty important to her. And even if it's flawed, I think, uh... Lloyd might be kind of a dick. <laughs> I don't know. The truth. If we find the unicorn, we might be able to save Clara. I yes, probably. Okay, let's go. They'll be sad when she learns the truth. Did you say something, Professor? No, it's nothing. Dang it. Not much of a specimen. Hey, go on, Sheena. Ask Mundini to take us over there. Wait, that's not going to work. Why? The unicorn can only be approached by a pure maiden. At the very least, Lloyd, Sheena and I are out. It's pretty picky if you only talk to girls. So then, just rain and... I'll stay behind, Colette. Go by yourself. Hey, are you saying that I'm not qualified? Qualified? You don't have to all say it at once. And we shall send Colette and Sheena. Why can't the professor go? Because I'm an adult. Hmm? Uh, okay then, I'm going to summon now. Isn't Sheena an adult? <laughs> Call upon the Maiden of the Mist. I summon thee. Come, Udini. Please, Udini. Take us to the Unicorn. As you wish. To the lake. Martel? Martel? You mean the goddess Martel? No, I'm Colette, and this is... I'm Sheena. Not Martel. That cannot be. This presence, this mana, and this sickness. Even in my blindness, it is clear. You are Martel. Me? Yes. I exist to save the awakened Martel from her sickness. 
You now suffer from that sickness, do you not? You can tell that Clud is sick? Yes. Our body is racing out of control. Please, save Colette. The Horn of the Unicorn has that kind of power, right? Um, it's alright. I'll be fine. Colette! I was born to become the Chosen of Generation, so it's okay. But there is someone we promised we would cure. I want to keep our promise. Ah, I see now. You're the Chosen of Generation. Take it. Acquired unicorn horn. What's wrong? Our horns are our very lives. My destiny is now fulfilled. No! So not be troubled. A new life will be born from me. And when that new life ends, yet another will be born. In so doing, we live on forever. Are you two alright? Sheena, are you crying? The unicorn gave us his horn. I see. Then the unicorn is dead. You knew? When a unicorn loses its horn, it dies. By dying, a new unicorn is born. That's why the unicorn is the symbol of death and rebirth. Will a new unicorn be born? Yes, probably. I hope so. The unicorn gave us this horn at the cost of his life. We must make good use of it. Yeah, Colette. Now we might be able to get you back to normal. Yes, but not now. Why? Because right now, I still haven't finished regenerating the world. So please use this for Pietro and Clara. But Colette, don't worry. Once I've regenerated the world, I'll use this on me, alright? Alright. <clears throat> Professor here. Rain learned Resurrection. Nice. Rain obtained the title of Grand Healer. It seems I've acquired some new healing arts thanks to this horn. Now we can save Clara. No, it would be difficult to save her with only the healing arts I learned just now. What? We must find a method that will develop these healing arts into a different form. We're going to find something like that. This area is said to be where healing arts, healing arts were first developed. I'm sure we'll find some clues in this region. Okay then, let's have a look around the cities in this area. Wait just a little longer, Clut. I promise we'll fulfill your wish. To become an angel. Clut, are you sure this is what you want? Not using the unicorn horn? I mean, you're the one that went and got it. Yes, my body is just becoming an angel, that's all. But you can't even eat or sleep when you want to. Are you saying you're happy with that? I think that's what it means to become an angel. That's just not right. It's just not right that you have to sacrifice yourself like this. I'm sorry, but thank you, Lloyd. Um, we are closer to this place, so I'll check this place out first. <laughs> As go. Um, let's see. Shayna has succeeded in forming a pact with the Undini, a contract that allowed the party to make contact with the Unicorn in the underwater prison. Lloyd and the others decided to head back to Lake Almacy, where the Unicorn slumbered. Once at the lake, Clyde and Sheena used Undini's power to reach the Unicorn's resting place. The Unicorn was very old, and its memory was just as long. 
and answered Pud's wish at the cost of its life, gave her its horn, which had the power to restore living things. The party was overjoyed. With the horn in hand, they could heal Colette and anyone else that required treatment. However, Colette would not allow them to use the unicorn on her. The world had yet to be regenerated, she asserted. Um, I'm mainly just looking for clues as to where I have to go. Maybe going to the big altar itself? These dragons seem like they would be important. I mean, this looks like a dumpy Loch Ness monster. Do you guys just get sick? Martel's a goddess, right? That's what they call her. Do you goddesses get sick too? I guess they do. That's silly. But look, if you think about how Colette can become an angel, humans and angels can't all be all, can't be all that different. And angels serve Martel. Hmm, I guess. I still think it sounds kind of strange for a goddess to catch a cold. Well, yeah, that's true. This is Colette, the Chosen of Regeneration. Fake Lloyd? <laughs> so it's these numbskulls again. Fake Colette. I promise to regenerate the world and bring peace to everyone. Wow, the Chosen is very mature and determined. She's truly divine, don't you agree? Ah yes, she truly is. Hey, they're still pretending to be us. I said, donate to the Chosen's journey. Please, everyone, we need your support. Damn it, stop! That's enough, you fakes. What? Who are you calling fakes? It's alright, Jude. When we complete the world regeneration, I'm sure these people will understand as well. The Chosen is so compassionate. Hey, you, don't speak badly of the Chosen. Ugh. Shut up, these guys are con artists who tricked the Palmacosta government and took the Book of Regeneration. You guys are the ones we met earlier at Palmacosta. You mustn't trust those who insult our savior, the Chosen. Yeah, I can't believe they treat the Chosen like an imposter. Wait, everyone, settle down and think for a moment. Would the compassionate Chosen, who will save the world, come to take money from people suffering at the hands of the designs? What? Don't say such things. Rain, it's you. Everyone, please wait. Rain is the one who eliminated the monster of the stone dais. This city owes her a debt of gratitude. She won't just make things up. Now that you mention it, she was the one who served as the last acolyte. I see. Now that I think about it. Then, is this Chosen and her group imposters? This doesn't look good. Time to make a break for it. Yes. Ah! That idiot, just leave him! Your big brother! Grab him! Wait, please stop. Are you alright? I... I... Are you hurt? I'm okay. Will you give back the money you took from everyone? Oh, okay. You mustn't trick people for money anymore. Please tell the others that too. I'm not going to be arrested? Yes, and it's okay to go back to your brother. Right, everyone? Um, yeah, whatever. Alright, get out of here. You're kind, pretty, and a nice person. I... I like you. I won't forget you. Here we go. It's everyone's money. Right. But I'm surprised you people are still wandering around the world during a dangerous time like this. Of course. Because your Colette is the real Chosen. Because our Colette is the real Chosen. What? Do you want money too? 
It doesn't matter if you don't believe it. Please look at the jewel below her neck. This is the jewel of mana that appears in ancient manuscripts. No one but the real Chosen can wear it. It can't be. Then that girl is the real? Then you must be the Chosen's group. Uh, well, yes, so it seems. Oh no, we did not know, but still, we treated you extremely rudely. Please stop by my house. Ah, no, please, it's alright. You don't have to act like that. But... We are in a hurry to complete the journey of regeneration. We will just take your thoughts of gratitude. And please, at least stay here tonight. We'll reserve a room at the cool breeze inn. Well, shall we accept their hospi hospitality for one night? Yes. I don't think I really needed it, but okay. Well, I didn't seem to learn any healing arts there, but I guess we dealt with those fakes. healing arts from. The only reason I'm not exploring Moon first is because it was destroyed. Um. Wow. Like, it, I understand that it's like, it's supposed to look like the distance, but clearly it's just like, the wall is... Like a few meters away, <laughs> it's just painted on there. Like, I wonder what the original GameCube game looked like. Because even for a GameCube game, this looks pretty good. But I understand this is a port of the uh, PS3 remaster, so... You can finally rest easy on it. You didn't teach me shit. Monster of Stone Dives is certainly a problem, but I think a much more serious problem is the way half elves are simply living freely on the open here. Maybe this, like, old lady up here? The problem of the Madame's vase. I hope Harley and Liner learn their lesson from this and don't do anything foolish again. Teach me how to heal. Teach me how to heal. <clears throat> this kid. Maybe that house with, like, the laboratory in it? I forget which one that was, but we never actually used that laboratory. laboratory. Rain, everyone! How's the Balakurf Mausoleum? A brilliant success. The sun spirit of wind lay within, as predicted. Then the Balakurf pillar hieroglyphics are an accurate historical account, it seems. The mausoleum contains stone tablets with further de de depictions of the era. Here we go. This one's going to take a while. The space is accessible only to the Chosen, making further investigation difficult, but... Just a moment. Then does that raise the possibility that the Asgard ruins themselves are the legacy of Martell? Of Crucius? Hmm. A hasty conclusion. First and foremost, the Bellacruf court vastly predates the ancient war. Next. I guess we get a rest again. Which is a brief summation of my thoughts on the matter. Magnificent! A stunning set of observations, ma'am. Though further research is needed in order to prove it conclusively. Oh, please, allow me to undertake that effort. 
Hmm. I would welcome your assistance. Why, thanks, Liner. Finally. Let's go. <sighs> oh. Did she wind up going all night again? <sighs> Sometimes I have trouble believing she and I share the same blood. Genius, aren't you into that shit? I don't know, man. Thank you so much. I'll have a talk with Harley and Liner to make sure they don't do anything stupid anymore. Teach me how to heal. That's all I really care about now. Go out. Oh, interesting. Or not, there's nothing here. Oh. Wait. No, I think she just patrols and does that. She's just on a stupid loop. P, where are you? Just go inside the door. Yo, good timing. Take a look at this. What is it? What do you think this book and small ball, ball are? I found them at the destroyed Asgard Ranch when I was looking for anything useful. I see them for a moment. Their usage is written here. It seems the small ball is called a pellet. Engraving information about an individu individual into pellets as a pattern. We'll let you see information about the individual at any time. A pattern? Hmm. Why don't we ask Dirk about it? Yeah, Dad can probably engrave that pattern. So it's not something I could do, huh? Oh well, you can have it. Are you sure? I never did anything but thank you guys for saving Aisha. It's fine, take it. In exchange, when it's complete, let me see it. Gotcha. I'll bring it when it's done. Thanks. Acquired figurine book. Acquired six pellets. Chronica and Galorum, Volume 1. In the beginning, a vast and timeless tree grew at the heart of the world. Around its branches grew an endless crop of mana, primordial element of all life. Its leaves thrummed with a boundless, vibrant energy. Humankind harnessed that mana, that energy, and ruled over the world as gods. Mana begat the study of magic technology. Magic technology, in turn, begat war. The two great nations, Silverant and Tithala, Tithiala, and Tethala, shared not in common, but a bitter mutual hatred. In time, their war gave rise to the designs, a race of blind and hateful greed. They drove the world to its knees, and nearly extinguished all life upon it. Ask for permission first. Tell me how to heal. Give me all your healing information. There's a book here. Hey, look! Chronica Angularum Volume 2. Taking pity upon human mankind and his folly, the goddess Martel sent onto the world a boy to serve as her agent. He brought the warring nations to accord, sealed away the designs, and restored peace to the world. Yet, it was too late to save the great tree, whose branches had forever withered. Mana was lost to the world. So spoke the king of Tethiala. As penance for bringing war upon this land, we will leave it for all time. Upon hearing those worlds, Mythos drew upon the divine power of Martel to erect a tower that reached the heavens. The people of Tethiala scaled it, never halting their march until they had come to live upon the moon. The King of Silverant spoke thusly, Let us construct a portal to link our worlds, that we may not forever lose our bond with the brothers of Tethiala. Hearing honest love and contrition in the King's plea, Mythos once more called upon the power of the goddess. Serving as her instrument, he created a great stone gate that would open only when the moon was full. Wow, folks from Tethial live on the moon? That's just a fairy tale, Lloyd. Nothing lives on the moon. What? 
You've been there to check? Not personally, no. So how do you know? Somebody could be living up there right now. Okay, fine. I suppose there could be the tiniest possibility of that utter unlikelihood. Well, that was interesting. Mentioned a portal, a tower. Uh, Sheena mentions weird things about this side and the other side. Uh, so maybe, maybe like Sheena is from a different dimension or something. Who knows? And this is the same person that's in the future. Anyway. Um. I've been in most of these places. Do you know about healing? I don't know how to thank you for saving Aisha. I'm going to tell her how I feel about her. Good luck with that. <sighs> I'm going to guess that it's probably a woman. Whirlwinds is your ally. Open the whirlwinds. Magic lenses are only ten bucks. I don't think I'm gonna have a completionist mindset for the uh monster list and stuff like that, but it might just be helpful to have those things. If you don't have proper knowledge, these murals are only as good are only as good as graffiti. Do they teach me about healing? Expedition failed. If they had more money, we might have succeeded. Ah, so it's a scam, I see. I think the only reason I don't explore that more is because I don't necessarily want to spend time grinding just for money. Um, I don't know. I've literally recorded every minute of my time with this game. And uh, I don't necessarily just want to play it um, just to grind. And sometimes I just run into stuff and find things I feel like I should have recorded. So I don't necessarily don't want to do that. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't really feel like spending money on expeditions and just have a chance of something happen. I don't know. Um, but we didn't see any clues to the healing arts in Asgard. Maybe they're in Lewin. Um, but this video has been almost an hour long, and so I think I'm going to stop it here and just save. And the next time I will head over to Lewin. Um, and maybe the adventurers in place back where Pietro lives and see if they have any information about healing there. Uh, but for now, I'm going to stop the video here. So until then, have a good one.